Hi everyone, welcome to Civil Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I will discuss about definition, purpose and role of lacing and brazing with proper examples. So if you are new to my channel, then click the subscribe button and the bell icon to stay updated with all new videos. Also, don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter to get all kinds of updates. If you think this content could be helpful to others, don't hesitate to share this video with your friends or on your social media. It's your support that fuels our passion for creating informative and engaging content. So thank you for being here and let's get started. Our today's topic is definition, purpose and role of lacing and bracing with proper examples. I have prepared this video on request of one of my viewers. So first the definition of lacing. Lacing is a structural reinforcement technique that involves using diagonal or vertical rods, cables or members to connect and secure different parts of a structure. It is primarily used to prevent lateral movement, distortion or buckling of structural elements, ensuring their element and structural integrity. Lacing is primarily used for the purpose of binding or tying together different components of a structure to prevent lateral movement or buckling. It is often employed in situations where the primary concern is to maintain alignment and prevent distortion. Technically, lacing refers to the use of diagonal or vertical rods, cables or members to tie together different parts of a structural element or system. It is primarily used to prevent lateral movement or buckling and to maintain alignment and safe integrity within the structure. You can see example of lacing here diagonal and or vertical rods. You can see in both the images. I will give more examples. So our first example. Think about a tall flag pole to keep the pole straight and prevent it from bending or swaying in the wind, they are often metal cables or wires wrapped around it diagonally. These cables act as lacing. They help maintain the flagpole's alignment and stability by preventing it from leaning or bending due to external forces. So this is the second example. Imagine a historic steel truss bridge like the Brooklyn Bridge in New York City. This picture is the Brooklyn Bridge New York City's picture. So these bridges often have a lattice like framework of steel members. Within this framework Lacing is employed to connect these diagonal members to the vertical members. This crisscross pattern of rods or cables acts as lacing. It serves several critical functions. So this is you can see this crisscross types framework. These are the steel members. This is lacing. These are lacing. Diagonally, diagonal crisscross type framework you can see here in this picture. Now we'll go to third example. 
third example is one of the notable indian structures that incorporates lacing is the howrah bridge in kolkata west bengal this iconic cantilever bridge officially known as the rabindra setu the bridge features a lattice like framework of steel girders and trusses and lacing is used extensively in its construction this is a well known bridge in kolkata west bengal so in this lacing structures are used so lattice like framework of steel girders and trusses and lacing is used extensively in its construction you can see in this picture this is the lacing on the howrah bridge helps in maintaining the alignment of its various structural components preventing distortion and ensuring the structural integrity of this vital transportation link so these three are the examples of lacing now alignment and maintenance of lacing the lacing helps maintain the alignment of the bridge components ensuring that they stay in their intended positions this is crucial for low distribution and structural integrity next preventing buckling under heavy loads or dynamic forces like wind the compression members of the truss can be prone to buckling lacing reinforces these members preventing them from bowing out of shape so next redistributing loads by evenly distributing loads across the bridge various components lacing helps prevent localized stress concentration concentrations that could be that could weaken the structure so this is redistributing loads now purpose this is very important lacing primarily serves the purpose of maintaining alignment and preventing deformation in structural elements it's akin to the stitching that holds fabric together ensuring that uh, di different parts stay connected and in their proper positions so purpose is very important mostly asked in interviews so you should remember this lacing primarily serves the purpose of maintaining alignment and preventing deformation in structural elements it's akin to the stitching that holds fabric together ensuring that prevent parts stay connected and in their proper positions this is the purpose of lacing now role lacing plays a crucial role in maintaining the alignment and shape of structural components it helps evenly distribute loads and prevents parts of the structure from shifting or deforming deforming under various forces including compression and tension next bracing definition definition of bracing so this is a stadium you can see brace the stadium uh, this outside is constructed with Uh, bracing structure so bracing is a structural engineering technique that employs diagonal members or braces to add stability and enhance a structure's ability to resist lateral forces such as wind seismic loads or other horizontal forces it helps 
distribute the absorb these forces preventing excessive sway or structural failure you can see in the picture diagonal members bracing involve adding diagonal members or braces within a structure to provide extra support and stability it's like adding criss crossed beams to make a structure stronger against external forces bracing is like adding diagonal cross supports to a structure to make it more stable against lateral forces you can see this a diagonal criss crossed type structures okay so it is particularly important in tall buildings bridges and other structures where sway or deformation due to external forces must be minimized okay so it is required in tall buildings bridges and other structures where sway or deformation due to external forces must be minimized you can see this criss crossed type diagonal members so these are bracing now examples of bracing so first example consider a modern high rise building to withstand the forces generated by strong winds or seismic events the building's structural system incorporates diagonal braces made of materials like steel or reinforced concrete these braces are strategically placed in a diagonal x pattern across the floors bracing serves several essential functions second example this is very famous temple the lotus temple in new delhi this is the lotus temple in new delhi this is very famous This temple is an excellent example of a structure that incorporates bracing. This modern architectural marvel completed in 1986 is known for its lotus flower like shape. You can see this lotus lotus flower like shape. The structure's intricate framework includes diagonal bracing that enhances stability so you can see this lotus type uh, lotus flower like shape it's a it is the diagonal bracing it's constructed with diagonal bracing now third example the infosys building in pune india this is infosys building in pune which is in india it, this office building is a modern office complex known for its innovative architectural design this building incorporates structural bracing in its design to enhance stability and resistance to lateral forces in the architectural design of the infosys building you can observe diagonal bracing elements incorporated into the facade this bracing elements serve both structural and aesthetic purposes so this is the infosys building in pune now another example i'll give fourth example this is bandra borli steel link which is officially known as rajiv gandhi steel link you can see this is rajiv gandhi steel link it is a cable stayed bridge in mumbai so bandra borli ceiling officially known as rajiv gandhi ceiling it is cable stayed bridge in mumbai india this iconic structure connects the bandra and borli neighborhoods spanning the arabian sea the bridge features a complex system of cables and towers and it's designed to withstand strong winds seismic activity and the challenges 
of the coastal environment within the vandra worli sea link design you can find diagonal bracing in the form of cable stays this cable stays extended from the bridge towers to support the main deck they are arranged in a fan like pattern which is common configuration for cable stayed bridges the diagonal bracing serves several essential functions you can see here this is bandra worli sea link this constructed with diagonal bracing so these are the lateral load resistance the diagonal braces helps the building resist lateral forces when the wind pushes against the building or during the earthquake the braces absorb the dis and distribute the forces preventing excessive sway under structural failure now enhanced stability by introducing diagonal members the overall stability of the structure is significantly improved this is practically important in tall buildings where swaying can be a concern these are the examples of bracing diagonal x bracing b bracing multi storied x bracing you can see diagonal bracing x x bracing so these are the examples multi storied bracing and this is b bracing now protection against deformation bracing ensures that the building maintains its shape and structural integrity even under several lateral loads now purpose bracing purpose is very important it is commonly asked in interviews bracing prime bracing is primarily used to enhance the structural stability and resistance of a building or structure against lateral forces it's like adding cross supports to a structure to keep it steady and secure during external events this is the purpose so in summary glazing is primarily concerned with maintaining alignment and preventing distortion while bracing is focused on providing stability and resistance to lateral forces both techniques are essential in structural engineering but they serve different purposes and are applied in distinct ways based on the structural requirements and the forces at play so i hope you understand what are the de uh, definition purpose and role of lacing bracing with proper examples i have given so many examples so in my next video i will describe the proper difference between lacing and bra bracing like uh, what are the material difference uh, uh, what are the purpose roles everything the proper difference so i have prepared this video on request of one of my viewers i'm uh, telling again and if you find this video helpful then don't forget to like share and comment thank you for watching